I put up a video about uh, Real Soldiers Make videos too, and it is in reference to um, Tex Grebner from Tex Grebner Outdoors, Derek Grebner 87 channel, how he's uh, criticizing YouTube channel Nothing Fancy for um, his usage of the Kalashnikov AK-47, and he had pointed out um, the amount of training that he had with regards to the usage of a particular rifle. Yeah. <clears throat> Excuse me. And, um, and it got me to thinking as I was driving to work, because I watched it, it was uh, first thing Friday morning. And I was thinking about it the whole time, like 16 hours. 16 hours. Seems like, seems like a long time. But, yeah, maybe not so much. Um, there's divisions of the military that spend an entire phase of basic training on, uh, on the rifle itself. An entire phase. It's like a month. It's a very long time. You spend a very long time cleaning the rifle. You spend a very long time learning about the rifle. And I was thinking about it. And it bothered me a little bit because there's these shit-hot dudes that come on here after a carbine class, or maybe they do carbine classes, I don't know. But they're shit-hot. They got a nice rifle. Yeah, whatever. And, uh... And then they criticize other people that aren't quite as shit hot as they feel they are. When in reality, I just, I talked about uh, Bisquick 30 out 6 earlier, when in reality there are several YouTube users who are in fact combat veterans. You talk about 16 hours of, of carbine training. There's guys watching you on YouTube that have 16 hours of literal, physical combat. People shooting at you. There's people on YouTube watching you that have taken bullets. There's people on you on YouTube that are watching you that have put bullets in other people. And that's not something that needs to be taken lightly. And it's it's ironic. If you, if you come across some of these combat veterans and you look at the content of their channels, it's pretty interesting. It's interesting to see what it is that they like, what it is that they take interest in. <clears throat> but I'm sure that that what I'm saying is going to fall on deaf ears just like it always seems to. You know, soldiers and marines and sailors and airmen, they come back from war telling you that, hey, uh, all the military does is break shit. And hopefully you're breaking the right shit. And you need to break the other people's shit before they break your shit. And all you do at the end of the day is breaking shit. But nobody seems to follow that. Uh, Quentin Tarantino wrote in a screenplay of one of his movies that it is so much easier to destroy than it is to create. That's so true, and I think about that all the time. I think about that whenever I watch a a negative video, and I, I think about that when I see footage of a howitzer going off, and and I think about that when I watch the news when it shows footage overseas, and and I think about that when I think about my friends that are that are going to Alaska right now to to wait on whatever's going to happen with this Korea thing. <sighs> Where I'm going with this is that. You need to bear in mind your audience, Tex. I like your stuff a lot, but you need to bear in mind your audience, and you need to get back to the point where your cup is not so full. Because I'm, I'm afraid to say that you're, you're showing a little bit more of a, a cup is full type mentality, man. That just ain't cool. <laughs>